<laughs> well, my next guest is a true golf phenom, y'all. At 10 years old, he's already won hundreds of tournaments. Holy it's crazy. God. And many say he's the next Tiger Woods. Take a look. Hi, my name's Say Perez. I'm 10 years old. I started playing golf since I was two years old and competing since I was three. I won my first tournament when I was three and a half years old. My papa wanted me to become a baseball player, but he was teaching me the wrong sport. My dreams and ultimate goals are to continue getting good grades, to play college golf, to be the youngest ever playing the Masters and win when I'm 16 years old, and I'm eventually just become a tour player and get my little tour card. When I used to play with kids who were a lot more older than me, I had a little secret weapon, and it's a little prayer, and this is how it goes. Let me put this down. It looks like this. Baby Jesus, please bless me with the strength and courage to do good today and hopefully kick these big boys' butts. <laughs> and that's just been the secret ever since. Oh my, oh my gosh, please welcome Xavier Zevi Perez, his dad Miguel, and his mom Christine. <laughs> Hi! I mean, Zeddy, it seems like you've got a direct line to baby Jesus. I'm just saying. I, I can't believe your dad tried to push you into baseball. Um, yes, yeah, he tried to. Um, he bought me the jerseys, he bought me bats and baseball gloves. But every time he tried to just pitch it to me, I just let it fall down to the ground and just swing it like a golf club. And he was just teaching me the wrong sport. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I just started learning. I could start beating my papa when I was about five years old. And it used to be um, a little bit tense by like four or five strokes, but um, now it's about like to like 15, 20 strokes. Oh my God, he's like rubbing it in. I love you. <laughs> so Miguel, <laughs> Miguel, Zevi was actually a miracle baby for your family, right? Um, yes, uh, Zevi is our miracle child. Uh, he's the youngest uh, of our four um, children um, um, by 15 years. Um, his sister was all in high school uh, when Sevy was born. We were planning to retire at the time, uh, so he was a big, big surprise. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, it, so, and 15 years later, so all of that was a pretty big shock. Yes, it was, but, <laughs> <laughs> but really was uh, a big shock was we, we received some devastating news at that time, and it was that Christine, my wife, had a very uh, aggressive cervical cancer growing inside of her. Oh, wow. And uh, that was discovered during one of the uh, tests to confirm pregnancy. Um, and at that time, um, she had made a very, very brave decision. And that was to either terminate the pregnancy or continue with the pregnancy. She chose to continue with the pregnancy and it was very hard on our family because um, um, we knew that she was in danger in her life the same as the baby. Mm -hmm. um, it was a race between who was gonna grow the fastest, the baby or the cancer. Oh. Then they also told us that because she decided to keep the pregnancy, that um, they were gonna have to deliver the baby very, very early. They told us first six months, but Xavier was delivered at 22 weeks, five and a half months. And they told us to be prepared to raise a child with special needs. Christine, that sounds like an impossible decision. I can't, I can't imagine. I, I went through all these scenarios when, when I was pregnant with my kids and I just worried about everything every time I went in for an appointment. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine the weight that puts on your heart because it's your little baby, but it's also, you, you know, like you said, while Xavier was growing, so is the cancer probably. It was, and at that at that time, um, when they were telling us, I, I still haven't processed or registered. Um, I know the doctor kept saying, you know, Ms. Perez, this is basically a race. We need to decide for you to terminate the pregnancy. But I, I just kept saying to myself, this baby saved me, this pregnancy saved me, and regardless, I wanted to have the baby um, and go through with it. Um, if it wasn't, if it wasn't Aww. this baby, I don't think I would be here. And I think of that every day because he's my miracle baby. 
Yeah, it's such such oh, a big decision. So sweet. He is so sweet. So oh my sweet, God. Dave. So I mean, can you imagine being put no, in that position? No, I can't. And what what uh, what faith and what bravery on mm. on all of your part. And boy, was he worth it, right? <laughs> Yeah. Yes, he was. Yep. Well, Zevi, so <laughs> you said you want to win the Masters by the time you're 16. Do you think you got a shot at that? Um, yes, I think I do. I've just been practicing and improving my game, and I'm just study hard so I can go to Stanford and play college golf just like Tiger Woods. Right. I mean, I, I looked it up. He wanted what he was like in his 21 or 22, so I got 10 more years to, to beat that, and maybe, be, maybe I can do it when I'm 19. Awesome. I believe you can do anything you put your mind to. You are Agreed. so bold and so strong and so sweet as well. You're so sensitive kissing your mama right then in those moments. That was so sweet. Um, well, Zevi, Thank I understand you, your parents are setting new rules because you're kind of getting a lot of attention, right? Um, yes, they've been doing that. And one of the things is like um, talking to the girls. I mean, I talk to the girls on Facebook. I like the girls, but mom's like, <laughs> no, Zevi, not to Set of rules. He, he said, I like the girls. Uh, that's, she's, she's doing you a favor. She's yep. doing you a favor. Trust her. She knows best. And joining us via Skype is Zevi Perez, a 10 year old Woo! golfing mom. Give it up for him, y'all. All right, so Zevi has agreed to help us with our short game. Uh, Zevi, you're going to teach us to putt today, right? Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna give you three easy tips to become the best putt in the world. All right, Jane. How's your how's your putting game? My, I don't have any putting game. Okay, so you're so starting, starting with scratch. zero with me. <laughs> All right. What's the first key, Zevi? So the first key is the grip. So you start off with your left hand and just kind of hold it like a lightsaber. Okay. And oh. then you put your right hand, um, just right on top of it, where your left thumb covers your right thumb and your right index finger covers. These three fingers um, right here, mm -hmm. okay. just like that. So okay. a good grip gets a perfect, um, I'm not... it gets good stability when you're uh, stroking the ball. Okay, okay, that's the first one. What Now what? So now the second is um, lining your ball up and just getting the break. Really inspect it. Um, since I advise, since you haven't played golf before, this is what I advise. Get all the way down here. <laughs> Oh my gosh. See the break All right. where the ball's lining up? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. And let's when I make it down, don't dance like get down like this. Yep. <laughs> there it is. Yep. <laughs> so now on step three, it's all about balance and having a good stroke. Okay. A mm -hmm. little drill I do is with one hand, but we're gonna do um, this real putting. I don't really put with one hand. It's uh it's pretty simple. You stand straight, um, bend your waist a little bit. And I'll fire away. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, you go. Go, Jane. I'm going to give you two. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Um, this time we're going to get from no. five to distance. We get them right here. <gasps> oh, yeah. oh, my God. It, you like, were so close. It kind of popped in and out. Don't bend your knees. I'm um, just to waist a little bit. Um, Piling is about um your arms and shoulders. Oh. It's more like rocking okay, a baby. Okay, bye. Sleep rock a bye, baby, on this putting green. <laughs> oh, okay. We're but lullabying there's, it. I'm playing there's entirely no legs, just shoulders and arms. <gasps> oh. You got it? I feel like I'm so in. close. This visor's, this is the visor's getting me down. Okay. <laughs> it was the visor, Jane. I'm sure it was. Okay. <gasps> oh. Wait, guys. I'm it's going to, okay, wait. Okay, that looks so I'm easy. I'm that can help, okay? Okay, here oh, we go. He's praying to baby Jesus for us. Oh, baby <laughs> Jesus, please bless Miss Lynch and Miss Clarkson. You put both balls in the hole. Amen. Amen. All right, if I don't, oh, if I make now. this right now, I swear to you, I'm calling for like lottery numbers. Like, <gasps> what? <laughs> It was the prayer. <laughs> Thank you, <Okay>, darling. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now. <laughs> Zevi, you are a prophet. Oh my gosh, Zevi. Thank you so Zevi. much, Zevi. Oh my gosh. Your prayers yes, are magical. Experts now, you're really good. Oh, I love you, Zevi. Thank you.
Thank you, Thank so you, Zebby. I love you so much. Thank you, honey.